colleagues. Uh, we have uh, Jonathan Bermud, our fiscal analyst, and Terry Mata, the media relations officer. Uh, thank you, Chairman. My name is Darius Mugaka Ugutu, Director of Higher Education, Department of Bishop, for a five-fold ministry charge. So, my name is Titus Zakayo Ingana, I'm Director of Research in the Ministry of Education. Thank you. Thank you. That's a title. Yes. What is the name? Titus Zakayo Ingana. Ingana. Right. Deputy Director Higher Education. Yes, sir. Frederick Haga, Director of Special Needs Education in the State Department of Basic Education. Special Education. Good morning, Chair. My name is Dr. Johnny Nangena. I'm the Chief Economist, State Department for Higher Education and Research. So when they keep asking you uh, to tell us your position again and again, it's because you want to know uh, who is present and uh, what business uh, we can be able to prosecute with you. Let's continue. Okay. Let's continue. Yes, honor chair and members. My name is Dr. Jane Batua, working in the State Department of Basic Education. Dr. Mugaka, that's all? Yes, chair, that's all. Uh, in case any other questions, I will let the chair. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Vice Chair. Uh, uh, your staff are here now, Clark. And I think you have mentioned the names. But they can just. Uh, This is a matter that we should address. Uh, we should move with the times. Uh, but we all know that the allocation that has been made generally to the Minister of Education this year, 2023-2024, 
is actually they got the lion's share. And so we also say that the ministry uh, in its internal uh, allocation, uh, because uh, the national government through the budget and uh, appropriations committee has allocated the, 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 the minister of education a cool, a whooping 650 billion. So we are telling them they must also uh, see to it that in their internal allocation uh, that they allocate uh, to these uh, uh, learners with the special needs. And in fact, we are saying, and the committee members are very uh, categorical, that the first allocation that should be made will be to these uh, learners, these institutions, those caregivers, before anybody else gets a salary. Uh, because the delays, like you have heard the members uh, observe, the delays are only to do with these that have no voice. Uh, teachers are paid their salaries uh, on time. The CS and his staff get his salary on time. Everybody gets their salary in time. But when it comes to these learners, to their institutions, uh, then they are delayed. So we are saying, uh, we are recommending uh, that the first allocation be made to these institutions and to these learners before anything else, because they cannot speak for, them, for themselves. The others can. One thing we do not want uh, to hear as a committee is any funding proposal that proposes that a parent pays. You heard them say 9,500 for some category of learners with uh, special needs. You know, some of these parents actually don't do anything that uh, can earn them some anything. Because some of them, especially mothers, the only thing they do is to take care of these, 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 these children. And so we are saying any funding model to learners with special needs should be full. The parents should not be called upon to pay anything because most of them cannot afford it. They already have more than enough burden of taking care of these kids. So that is the only thing that we are not comfortable with in their proposed model. Let the parents uh, not be required to pay anything. So if these are proposals from 2018, today we are in 2023, then the ministry is not serious. It's not serious at all that, that, because they should, they should then have uh, forwarded the, their proposals to cabinet and see whether they get adopted so that these children receive what is due care, you know. Uh, some of the equipments used by these learners with disability are very expensive. We are told the brain is around 100 and uh, over 100,000, you know, and, and so it is important that uh, it, it, it reflects the children with autism need a lot of equipments to distract them, to engage them. Um, they need, you know, um, caregivers almost like one-on-one -on -one basis, the same case with a mentally challenged. And so um, I, do, I think the ministry may need to up their game in terms of taking care of these children. The government of Kenya has taken upon itself to give the lion's share of the budget to the Ministry of Education. But with that allocation, we are still hearing a lot of noise, starting with students from the university, they are not getting their money. And then we are having these needy, needy students, they cannot get their money on time. Seriously, it is bothering us. That's why we are here, and I echo what the chairman has said. We need the Ministry of Education to do better than they are doing right now.